Uh, have you ever seen the movie Return of the Living Dead? No. No. It's actually pretty hilarious. It's it's a it's sort of like a black comedy horror film. Is that the one with Ash in it? No, that you're thinking of Evil Dead. Yeah. Uh, no, Evil Dead is a is a, an amazing film. It's a great film. Uh, Sam Raimi made that movie. The guy who made the first Spider-Man movies, the first three. Rock and roll. Yeah, from the with Toby. 2000s. With Toby, yeah. Those are, and and the Evil Dead movies are great. No, but I'm talking about uh, Return of the Living Dead, which was uh, sort of like a parody zombie movie, okay. but it, but it 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 worked like still like a regular horror movie, kind of like Scream. Remember Scream was sort of like a parody, but it worked like a real horror movie. Right. Mm-hmm. It's essentially what Return of the Living Dead did, and they did it before it. Mm. I'm just saying it's a good film. Uh, highly recommended. Go check out uh, Return of the Living Dead. Actually, there's a fun fact from that too. You know how we always associate zombies with eating brains. Mm-hmm. Yes, and we always associate it with the <coughs> George Romero films. You know, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead. We always assume that those those are the zombies that eat brains. No, actually, every zombie movie and television show, zombies eat people in general. They eat the flesh. Mm-hmm. They eat the flesh. They eat the organs. They eat anything. This is Return of the Living Dead. People are confusing Return of the Living Dead with actual zombie. A culture from every other film and TV show. It's not show. canon. It's not canon because in, in Return of the Living Dead, that is the only time that a zombie has ever said, brains. I mm. want to eat brains. So, fun fact there. Neat. I'm more educated than I was before. You were. Now, there's a few seconds you'll never get back in your life, but you, now you know. He'd be doing it right. That's right. It, it's, yeah. Why now don't I, you stop with the brains? Now I know what to do when, when the zombie apocalypse actually happens. Uh, Return of the Living Dead also told us that uh, <laughs> killing, uh, hitting zombies on the head does not kill them. Wait, what do you have to do? Uh, you just kind of have to run away from you them. You have to throw semen at them? Or burn them. Is that no. another use for semen? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the the zombie that repellent. No. Zombie repellent. Although they might get grossed out. No, yeah, you burn them or you just, at the end of the movie, they just nuke the whole city. and kill every, all the main characters. That's how that movie ends. Mm. Uh, spoiler, Is there anything spoiler, worse though, than a zombie that's on fire and just coming towards you? Spoiler alert! That's how Rob, uh, Rob well, Okay, so you cut off its legs and then you light on fire. I mean, this is not hard. This is not rocket science, people. I'm just saying this. Easier said than done. Have you ever tried to cut something's leg legs off and then set it on fire? Well, I mean, N- no, you have friends, <laughs> I, don't I you? can't say that I did that. Do you have friends? I have friends. Like no, I mean, in the movie, did the person have friends? What do you mean? Did the person have friends? What? Like the person that's fighting the zombies. Yeah, there's a whole group of people, but they all died okay. at the end of the movie. So, like, what we'll do when the zombie apocalypse comes up is meet here. Someone needs to find a pitchfork. Someone else. I have a katana sword. Okay. And then, like, the other one has to get, like, a, a dog collar from the kennel place. Ooh, why? So, one of us will hold the dog collar to hold it, like, keep it from thrashing. The other one used the pitchfork like through the middle of the body to stop it, so we cut off the legs and burn it. I'll, I'll okay. bring I'll bring a a lighter, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that works. Bring some gasoline too, okay. I'll, and I'll watch too. You have like friends, you know. You like to we know get you by like. with a little help with your friends. We know you like to watch pork. It's all right. Anyway, I'm a hands off kind of person. Mm-hmm. When it comes to murdering zombies with fire, right? And I'm cutting not. Off their I'm legs. not real familiar with it myself. So this, these are learning things. We're talking about things mm-hmm. of how it's going to work. That's how I would do it. That's smart, but yeah. In, in Return of the Living Dead, we we find that it's it's not in canon with the Night of the Living Dead movies. It's, it has no relation to those movies. It actually talks about. It. You remember that movie, Night of the Living Dead? Yeah. No, no, no. Not. I'm not asking you. In the movie, they ask, they ask each other. Do you remember oh. that movie, or Night of the oh, okay. Living Dead? I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah, that was based on a true story. And he's like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, and as it turns out, long story short, one zombie uh, broke out and was trying to kill people, and they cryogenically froze it, and it's actually at the bottom of the warehouse of the building the two people were, and that's how it all got started. And they tried to kill it because it escapes, but they couldn't kill it. They cut its head off, and the body still roamed around. And the head I have to still, use the bathroom again. still screaming. <laughs> I think he's starting his jars. I think he's. <laughs> no, I need more time. Can you than just that. wait until you get home, you gross? No. I'm, we're talking about the jars, not what you actually oh, have no. to do. Yeah. No. Take it to another room. Um, Willifard! Yeah, Willifard, get my jar. Get my jar. Get my jar. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Where's that Playboy? 
What, Wilford, you got it in your room, don't you? You sicko! Give it here! And keep I'm not using better yeah. home than gardening again. <laughs> <laughs> Reader's Digest did not do the job well last time. I mean, yeah. I mean, These old people don't do it for me. I mean, you have to... You might have, like... One image that's sexually arousing, but like Mike Wallace is right next to it. Yeah, it just like, doesn't. No. Matter. No. Mm -mm. Poor mm -mm. Wilfer. No, seriously, do you have to pee again? Kinda. What are you, a camel? I drank a lot of water today. Uh, well, that's a good thing, but damn. We're, we're trying to do a show. Water's right. good for your skin. It is good for your skin. That's why it's we good wash for it. tooth. It's good for tooth decay. That's too. right. That's why we brush our teeth with water and morning sickness and wash ourselves. It's, pro it's probably good for morning sickness. It's really, it is. it's really the life source of our planet when you think about it. I feel like that's what that article is about. Yeah. I feel like they just they missed they messed up one word. Yeah, I was they ran with it. Maybe it was like an onion article. I don't think it was onion. I, I, it was something else, but. It was man's digest. The world is made up of 70% water, so there's a reason why water is very, very helpful in everything, in everyday life. Wait, what else, what else did that article say? It helps with, okay, so you need to know what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we saw online that there are different uses for... Semen. Yes. The, well, no, the man injected semen into himself to try to... Oh, that. Fix, we we fix read that story. Right. The disgusting man who injected his own semen into his body to and help with back pain. Decided to leave it there. And left it there, even after the doctors told him, yeah, you know what, that's not good, don't do that. He's like, yeah, I'll leave it, it's fine. So that kind of sparked a thing where we started looking around and uh, practical semen. uses for semen and there's besides and apparently procreation. There's, there's practical uses for it. No, and this is this is real. This is a thing. Uh, there are different things that you can do with semen. I'm According gonna, to the internet. Yeah, it prevents tooth decay. It prevents wrinkles. It can be used as an invisible ink. It prevents morning sickness. Water can be used as invisible ink. It's it's. <laughs> It's used as an antidepressant. You can cook with it. You can cook with water. I don't know if water is an antidepressant. And you can fight fire with it. And you can fight fire with water. But yeah. Yeah, I feel like this. This is a. This is an article about water. It's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not about that. Yeah, exactly. So. And we were talking about stocking our our end of the world bunkers with semen, and we're like, yeah, we would be set. Because you could do anything you want, need with it, <laughs> and you. And if you're a guy, you have an endless supply. And exactly. So uh, there yeah. you go. just don't get vasectomies. Semen is like the Swiss Army knife of of, <laughs> of, uh, of biological fluids. Oh God! 